Life has become so fast paced that we often forget to appreciate the little things that make it worth living. We get so caught up in our daily routine that we stop seeing the beauty that surrounds us. We're always in a hurry to get things done and forget to take a moment to enjoy the present. However, it is essential to break away from the monotony of daily life and start enjoying every moment. One way to do that is by romanticizing your life. Good morning, everybody. Romanticizing your life is about finding beauty in everyday things and appreciating the little moments that make life worth living. It's about taking a step back and seeing the world through a different lens. It's about creating an environment that's aesthetically pleasing and brings you joy. One of the things that I've been neglecting, especially in the winter time, is not getting ready, not feeling put together, and when you look good, you feel good. That's something that I want to definitely implement more in my daily routine, like I haven't been wearing makeup or putting on clothes that really feel like myself, I've just been putting on whatever. So, one way to romanticize your life is to get ready for no reason, but to look good for yourself. You stay a little longer. I've been missing someone like you. I know both getting one way to romanticize your life is by getting ready for no reason. Working from home or having online school is such a benefit because we don't have to worry about others judging us for the way we look or the way we dress. We can stay in PJs all day if we wanted to. But at the same time, I sometimes get the longing to put on makeup and a cute outfit even if I have nowhere special to go. I want to look pretty just for myself. Take some time in the morning to do your skin tour routine and put on some makeup even if you don't have any special plans for the day. It's a small act that can make you feel good about yourself and boost your confidence The songs I'll never write, I will keep me up at night. We love to see a decluttered room, a color coordinated closet, an aesthetically pleasing breakfast, even if no one else will see it but yourself. Maybe add some doodles to your daily to-do list or journal or some pictures or decorations on your wall. I used to think that doing these little things were useless if no one else except me was going to see them anyways. But it brings me so much happiness, satisfaction, and organization into my life. Even if it doesn't look as pretty or as nice as the videos or pictures that we see on Instagram, it's about your own feeling that counts. You know that also, I got this new camera lens. Let me know if you guys like it, but I think it's really cool. It's like a wide angle camera lens. Yeah. I think that sometimes people think that you need to be good at a hobby, but the joy of having a hobby doesn't come from being good at it. A hobby doesn't have to become a side hustle, but it can be a relaxing escape. The toxic concept that we can only do the things that we're good at or things that we can instantly excel at can prevent us from missing out on so many moments in life. Sure, being good at something can be really fun, but we don't want to trap ourselves in a box of expectations. We don't have to be Picasso to paint. We don't have to become pro if we want to play volleyball. Um, we don't have to run 10 kilometers all at once if we want to pick up running. We might get judgments from other people, but we sure don't want to judge ourselves for taking up a hobby that we just picked for our own enjoyment.
hi guys thank you so much for making into the video so far and if you've enjoyed it please like the video and subscribe it would help me out so much and since this video is all about romanticizing your life um i thought a nice journal prompt to give you guys today would be listing 20 of the little things in life that you've enjoyed for example the smell after it's rained outside or the flowers blooming in the springtime all the little things like that um also leave a comment down below if you want i read every single one of my comments and also this week i'm moving so if you want a moving vlog please let me know okay bye guys whether it's painting, writing, or knitting, finding a hobby that you enjoy can help you escape from the stress of everyday life. See how much time that you have to put into a hobby and look at the difficulty level as well as your own personal interests. For example, if you don't have that much time but you love creating little things and little projects, maybe crochet at your own personal pace. If you love watching TV and also art, maybe creating a scrapbook about those shows can be super fun. I've seen people also do it about K-pop bands or their favorite artists. I recently picked up bullet journaling because it combines art, writing, and productivity and I think it it just looks so cute and so satisfying. Working out and exercise has been an integral part of maintaining my mental health and it just makes me feel so happy. I know it can seem daunting, but working out does not have to be just going to the gym for some steps on the treadmill or lifting weights over and over again. Working out is simply just getting moving. <laughs> Why are you hugging the thing? <laughs> Going for a walk in the park can be a great way to escape the daily grind and immerse yourself in nature. I love smelling the fresh air and I love to get mesmerized by the beauty of nature and its colors. Another nice workout that I've enjoyed is bouldering or rock climbing and let me tell you it is so difficult and gets me to work out muscles that I never even knew that I had. Like the next day I was so sore in different areas. In the summertime, I see people all the time playing spike ball, doing pilates outside and throwing around a frisbee. Don't let people tell you that you're not truly working out if it isn't a two hour grind session at the gym. If you're simply getting up and moving consistently, you're already doing better than most. Ultimately, I know that life is a little bit difficult to figure out sometimes, but at least we're all in this together. It could be sunrise or late night, summer, laughing with you. I say, how come it's so